Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you can get a jump cut shirt as soon as you want. Number six cheese.com. Yeah, go get them. Do what Corey said. And today, a modern Indian cuisine. This is Modi Cafe. They have like chicken tiki masala pizzas, all different types. Uh, so we're gonna go snag up two of those, two personal eight inch pizzas, show them to you guys, review them, then make a YouTube video about it. So come on in. The doors always open. I hate myself. <laughs> A couple of Indian style pizzas from Modi acquired jump cut. All right, two pizzas today. Here's the first one, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, so this is a uh, chicken tikka masala pizza. We've got chicken, onions, green peppers, mozzarella cheese, uh, and Madi and cilantro lime sauce. All right, and then here's the second one. This is my pizza. All right, this is the chicken masala elote pizza. It's got roasted masala corn, crumbled paneer served with a side of masala yogurt. Also very, very visually appealing. All right, Modi, Indian style pizzas. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, I love this. Having curry flavor on a pizza is delightful. Oh, this is great. Wow. It's brilliant. It's kind of like they just took naan bread and mm -hmm. add some more stuff to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. This is really tasty. I mean, it makes so much sense now that I think about anytime I get Indian food, I get naan bread, and I get the rice, I get the chicken, yeah. I scoop it up, and I eat it. It's like a little mini pizza. Absolutely. Wow. Definitely have never had an Indian pizza before, and this is fantastic. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit nervous, not that the Indian food would be bad, but the fact that because it's like fast food style, right. that would be like poor quality and mm -hmm. that they would have a good opportunity that they would miss. Yeah. But that's not what the case is. This is delicious. They hit a home run. It's very good. So these were each 12, these are 12 inch pizzas for 20 bucks. And this is a lot of food. I mean, the, the ingredients are really stacked up there. Like I think it's a good amount of ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's another thing like, I've said this before, living in Chicago is such a fun experience for stuff like this because there's no way Anywhere where, near where I'm from has Indian style pizzas. And this is just like down the street from my apartment. Right. This is really cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is so good. It's very, very good. I mean, I can't get over how dumb I am for having missed this slam dunk of an opportunity. Hello, non bread. It's almost pizza slice shaped in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Man, I love the elote on here. Good stuff. Yeah, elote, street corn, just shaved all over this bad boy. So much flavor. Mm. And this like crumbled veneer, veneer, paneer, which is like cheese, it's like crisped up. Man, there's just, in the sauce, look at like how much sauce they put on each slice. The guy that took the order, did he just go in the back and make it too? That was like made to order to a T. Yeah, I don't know how they do it, their system, but it works. This bread is fantastic. You're right, it's like pizza dough naan bread. Mm-hmm, oh my God, I'm in pleasure heaven. This is one of the most unique pizzas I've ever had. What an experience. <laughs> Let me use some hot, Hotter Sixer sauce too. Just because I feel like I've been doing a bad job of whipping this baby out during these reviews, so. Yeah, I want that on one of mine. And plus, Hotter Sixer sauce you know is great on Indian food. Indian food's meant to be spicy. Hotter Sixer sauce available right now on our website if you want to be like us and put it all over your food. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of problems with America, but this is an example mm -hmm. of one of the best things about America. I agree. Bunch of cultures coming together and then saying like, hey, let's do it the American way. Yeah which American way is just the mixing pot, as they say. This is a mixing pot. Absolutely. We got Italian food pizza, mix it with Indian food India, and creating heavenly food for Corey. That is a argument I can get behind right there. Oh my God. That bite was everything I wanted. Oh my God, ooh, a little spice in there is nice. Mm -hmm. This has um, a lot of powdered, powdered ghost pepper in the hot sauce, really accenting all the Indian flavors really well. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just love Indian food, so. This is a no-brainer for me. You just can't go wrong. Man, this is just like one of those episodes. I just want to sit here and eat this and people watch. Yeah, I'm about to have one last slice. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm going four. I am like actually blown away by this. Every bite I'm re-reminded. Yeah, this is exceeding my expectations by a significant amount. We got our own hot sauce. This is amazing. Putting out another YouTube video. Got the new shirt on. I mean, just what a Thursday. I'm scarfing these too. They're going on too easy. You know what I'm excited about too? 
is in our roundup of all the different foods and places we've done in Chicago. To be able to add this to a list of like best pizzas because it is so unique. It's like so different than anything else so ever different. had, but still so good. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend this to people. Yeah, it's gonna be highly bumped up on my mm -hmm. recommendation list. So much of the pizza in Chicago is the same as other places. Yep. The Neapolitan style is all pretty much kind of like the other Neapolitan style. Deep dish is all pretty similar to deep dish. Like, this is on its own, it's in a different room. It's just doing, it's like literally its own cuisine. Like, yes, it's Indian, but even the way that they did the dough, it's yeah. so unique. Yeah, this is this is probably the most unique pizza I've ever had. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We each just smashed, well, I thought I smashed half. I think they cut my beard. I think you just counted weird. <laughs> yeah, no, you take that off and all of a sudden it's a half a piece. Oh, uh, well, you have, oh. Right? One, two, three, four. Oh, I had three slices. I thought I had. See how quick I am to defend these guys? I, I mean, I get they it. They start feeding me good pizza. I hear someone talk about their cutting skills. Hey. I, I almost <laughs> got you a headbutt, bro. <laughs> Like, don't be talking bad about my new best friends out there, bro. Oh, you know what I gotta do? What's I that? wasn't gonna do this. Actually, I was gonna do this, and then I cut this, and now I have to do this because people think I'm on meth. Uh, oh. Okay, so, quick story time. I got into a bike accident recently, and then that it was the day before we did that cooking video, which is a sponsored video. So I had a picture in this whole time where I talked about it, but then I was like, well, this is a sponsored video. I don't really need to be talking about how I busted my mouth up. So then I cut that stuff in the video, but then I had a bunch of scabs on my body. So on last Friday's video mm -hmm. was probably the most you could see the scabs. And then I wasn't, you know, I was just, I don't really care enough. I like get lazy and I'm like, whatever, they don't need to know my whole life. Right. <laughs> but then all of a sudden people are like, hey, meth face, what's going on with your wrist? You've been doing a bunch of heavy drugs. I was like, all right, I should probably explain it. And I do have this classic picture. It's just too funny. So yeah, I was so I was riding my bike in Chicago on the way home from a comedy show, and I hit some gravel or something, and I landed teeth first. And uh, this is <laughs> that's what it did to my teeth. You see that big old Lloyd Christmas Dumb and Dumber smile I got going on there? <laughs> hey, trying to buy some drugs? So uh, yeah, very funny. For everybody who was curious and thought maybe it was heroin or meth yeah. that caused those scabs on my wrist. And I went teeth first, and then I landed in a way that dragged my wrists across. I wasn't able to get to here. I instead just went and got to there. So that's the scab story so that people can quit calling me meth. Meth yeah. arms or whatever the hell they were calling calling me. It was like the food review Jordan flu day. Like you got that happened to you. You woke up, went, got your tooth fixed, and filmed like for five hours right afterwards. Yep. That's easy, literally easy. Jordan game six right there. Yeah, I mean <laughs> in food reviews. I appreciate that. I wouldn't go as far as saying that, but I like hey, to go real lofty. It. He said it, I didn't. Yeah. I so mean, Michael, take it up with him, man. I never <laughs> compare myself to you. Um, all right, well guys, also even for that photo, can we get a like on this video for that photo? That was just too good, yeah. right? Like this video, it helps uh, us out a lot and also lets us know that you really enjoyed that uh, Lloyd Christmas photo. That yeah, dental costs, man. Those add up. So come on, mm -hmm. help us out here. Right. Cost equals v or likes equals views, views equals money, money equals better teeth. Better teeth equals happiness. I'm not saying that, he did. <laughs> All right, uh, before we go ahead and rate uh, those incredible Indian style pizzas, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a merch store. We just dropped a brand new shirt. Grab it before we take it off the website. It's the Rainbow Jump Cut shirt. It's super boss, super awesome, and super high quality. And anybody who gets anything off our website gets a shout out. You buy more than one item, you jump to the front of the line. And if you get our hot sauce subscription, you jump to the front of the front of the line. And uh, here's a couple people who have bought stuff from our website recently. And real quick, uh, just because a lot of people don't realize this, this round of shirts is from extra small all the way to 4X. We've never had that range before, so if before you weren't able to get your size, now you might be able to. Merch shot number one goes to Kelly Wright. Anton, Texas, hot sauce subscription, saving 25%, getting a bottle to the doorstep every single month. Kelly, thank you. And merch shot number two goes to a good friend of mine, Mr. Matt Toad. Uh, Matt, Oregon, well, Northwood kid, uh, out in that Oregon, East Toledo, Northwood area, where I went to high school at, awesome dude, got himself the bundle pack, that's both hot sauces, the regular, and the hotter sixer sauce, send it out to him every single month. Matt, you thanks for the support, man, you're a good dude. All right, time to rate those pizzas. Um, man, let's see, uh, out of five, all right, those had curry, I got, I'm thinking Steph Curry. There you go. Out of five Steph Currys, how many Steph Currys do you give your 12-inch pizza here today from Modi? Modi Cafe Corey. 
I think it's just an absolutely genius move. I love the idea. It's so obvious. I can't believe no one's thought of it before, or at least I've never seen it before. The Indian food flavor went so fantastic on that pizza, and I'm glad that they didn't uh, go too far from um, the like non-stop. That, that crust was like a mix between like what pizza crust is usually like and a more non-ish type of crust. So I think it all worked together really, really perfectly, really, really well. I'm gonna give that 100% a, a five, man. That's just too great. Great. I really went into this, you know, not knowing what to expect, being like, if they nail this, I will be so shocked. And I am so shocked. Like, they did an incredible job. It could not have been better. Every bite had so much on it. It was built to perfection. Couldn't agree with Corey Moore. That is a perfect score. That is five Steph Curry wow. out of five. You guys, this is right in River North. This is Clark and Huron. If you're staying downtown or you're anywhere near here uh, and you want to snag something really unique, this place is right on the corner. Uh, so go say hi. They'll be like, who did a video? Um, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, back in the kitchen-ish area. It kind of spills also into the living room. <laughs> We're doing a brewing review episode, so come on back, and we'll see you then. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Goodbye.